Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy Ninja. Welcome to my new series called Flashback Friday. Basically, I just play an old game and showcase it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy the Ninja bringing you another commentary like I do. And E3 just ended like maybe in the last couple of days. I don't know when I'll upload this, but I'm just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of good games on display this year at E3. And I think... At all, all the E3s that I've been watching, I think for the past two or three years, maybe four years, I think this one, my games library, is going to be the most full. I have 13 games on my list that I'm definitely for sure picking up, but maybe I won't. And But just in case, I have a dedicated five that my priority goes out to. So let's jump right on in. The games that looked very cool and that I'm probably going to pick up and probably going to pick up the next down console because of are gonna be Destiny, Battlefield Hardline, Far Cry 4, Uncharted 4, Rainbow Six Siege, The Crew, The Division, FIFA 15, Mass Effect 4, Star Wars Battlefront, Dragon Age Inquisition, The Witcher 3, and Fable Legends. Now, out of the 13 games I just named, there is gonna be a top five that I have to get, like I have to have to get. And I think if I had to choose five games that I for sure, for sure that I had to get. The first one, well, I guess fifth place, we're going from fifth down to, what is that, number one. And so number five, I feel like would be Mass Effect 4. And I, not for the story, keep in mind that I do not play story mode a lot, unless it's like RPG. And so, but... The online for Mass Effect 3 was just amazing. It was the first time I actually played a multiplayer game that wasn't PvP, where you went against enemies and AI rather than actual humans. And so that just brought out like a whole new element for me. And it was new. And I liked all the little abilities that would biotic abil abilities that you have in Mass Effect 3. And I hope they're even fucking more epic and badass than Mass Effect 4. And um, the next one, number four, would be The Division. And, you know, you got to get in some third-person shooters in there every now and then because you just want to keep things fresh and shit. Variety is the spice of life. So The Division, just because it's mainly by Ubisoft, and Ubisoft is definitely one of my favorite companies out there, and they get shit done right. The Division, obviously. I feel like the story mode is going to be solid for this game, and I'm definitely going to have to play through it, as well as the multiplayer, of course. Uh, I like when you shoot the people and stuff like that. The numbers pop out and stuff, so it reminds me a lot of uh, Borderlands 2, and just the Borderlands series in general. When the numbers pop out, it just gives a nice, satisfying, satisfying feeling. And so, other than that, then we go on to Dragon Age Inquisition at number 3. And I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this or even know this about me but I am a hardcore hardcore RPG fan um, like just Dragon Age when I saw the trailer and some of the gameplay that they showed at the E3 demo thing I was just like wow this game is fucking sick I've never played Dragon Age 1 or 2 I think 1, 2, and I think Origins. I think there's Origins as well. But I never played the first, whatever the previous games are. I've never played it. But I always looked into it and looked at gameplay of it. But I just never bought it because I never had any money back then. And this time around, it, the game looks fucking sick. Like like I said, you guys have no idea how big of an RPG gamer I, I really, really am. And I'm definitely looking forward to this game. And then, obviously... The next game in the number two spot is The Witcher 3. Of course, of course, like I just said, I am a hardcore RPG fan and I like customizing my character, I like going through skill trees, ranking up my character, like I just said, just a whole bunch of different aspects, making him a fucking fire mage or an ice mage, using this, that, and the other, using twin swords, sneaking up behind people, just shit like that. And like I said, 
with Dragon Age. I've never played the previous games to The Witcher, and so like I, I I've always looked into the game like The Witcher One and The Witcher Two and shit like that on YouTube, but I never actually played it because I never had any money, like I just said, and I mean the games in this coming up this year it's just fucking crazy when i i didn't even really look at e3 i just went to the pixel anime channel and i looked at all the trailers there because first of all i'm lazy and i don't feel like and it's hard for me to stay still so i was probably playing something or i don't know something but i just went to the pixel anime channel and i looked at nothing but the trailers and gameplays from ign and shit like that and all these games look fucking amazing but that leads me to my last game number one that i definitely definitely am picking up and that is star wars battlefront and keep like come on man dice is picking up the battlefield uh not battlefield battlefront from star wars which is fucking crazy like Dice, I I can only imagine what the game is gonna be like. First of all, I'm not even that big of a fucking Star Wars fan. Number one, like if someone were to say Star Wars is the best, this any other, I'd be like, eh. Like Star Wars to me was just never that big of a deal, and so I just don't really like Star Wars like that. But the fact that Dice is making a Star Wars game and Keep in mind, I do know of Star Wars. I do know what it's about and stuff like that. And the scale of the the Star Wars universe is just fucking immersive as fuck. And I'm just really, really, really ready for that game. And I was looking at some of the, I think the, like the alpha engine that they were using for it and stuff like that. And they showed some of like what the environments are going to be like and stuff like that. And I was just like, yo this game is gonna be raw as fuck like what the hell this game is gonna be raw as fuck and um yeah man it's just some crazy shit crazy crazy shit and I'm definitely definitely looking forward to it and that's basically it man my top five my top five right there I think for the most part I'm going I'm gonna make a definite fact I'm gonna pick up these five games and then if I feel like buying the rest of them, then maybe. And if I have to go out and buy a next-gen console because of it, then I will. Because the new job that I just got offered is I'll be making a lot, of, a lot, a lot of money. And so I'll have actual money to go out and buy these games that I actually want for once. Instead of waiting a whole year and a half later. And so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was your boy Ninja. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And... As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. New York, stand up.